Hello everyone, myself Dr. Ashwata Kayes. Now we shall discuss about polar subtangent and polar subnormals. Let P of R comma theta be any point on a curve R equal to F of theta. Draw a line NT through the pole O perpendicular to the radius vector. OP to meet the tangent at the point T and the normal at the point N. Then OT is called polar subtangent and ON is called polar subnormal for the curve R equal to F of theta. We shall derive the expression to find out polar subtangent and polar subnormal. Now, in the right angle triangle POT, in the right angle triangle POT, okay. So, find out tan phi. This triangle, in this right angle triangle, find out tan phi. What is tan phi? Opposite by adjacent. So that is OT divided by OP. OP is nothing but the radius vector that is R. So it's tan phi equal to OT by OP. So OT equal to OT divided by OP is nothing but R. Now cross multiply this R you will have OT equal to R into tan phi. But we already know the value of tan phi. It's nothing but R into R into d theta by dr. So R into R, it's R square d theta by dr. Okay. So OT is nothing but the polar subtangent. Thus polar subtangent at the point P of R comma theta is given by R square d theta by dr. Now we shall find out polar subnormal. Now consider the right angle triangle PON. So and find out tan of 90 minus pi. So the right angle triangle PON. Okay. So find out tan 90 minus pi. What is that? Tan 90 minus pi or tan theta. Tan of this angle is opposite by adjacent. Okay, so it's nothing but ON divided by OP. But OP is nothing but the radius vector. It's ON by R. Now cross multiply. ON equal to R into tan pi by 2 minus 5. So 90 minus 5 will be in the first quadrant. In first quadrant, all the trigonometric functions are positive. So therefore, tan of 90 degree minus phi is nothing but cot phi. So you will left with r into cot phi. So this cot phi can be written as 1 by tan phi r divided by tan phi. But what is tan phi? It's r into d theta by dr. So this r will get cancelled. If you consider this in the numerator, you will get dr by d theta. So therefore, the polar subnormal is given by dr by d theta. The subtangent is r square d theta by dr whereas subnormal is dr by d theta. So now we shall solve some problems on this polar subtangent and subnormal. Find the lengths of the polar subtangent and subnormal for the curve r theta equal to a. So consider the curve. Now differentiate this with respect to theta. We will have dr by r. We have dr by d theta equal to minus a by theta square. Now the polar subtangent is given by the formula r square into d theta by dr. So it's r square is nothing but a by theta. 
So R square becomes A by A square by theta square. Now take the reciprocal of this dt, dr by d theta. You will get minus theta square by A. So theta square get cancelled. When A get cancelled, you will left with minus A. So this is the polar subtangent. Now polar subnormal is given by dr by d theta which is nothing but minus A by theta square. Next problem. For the curve R equal to A into 1 minus cos theta prove that the length of polar subtangent is 2A sin square theta by 2 into tan theta by 2. This is the given curve. Find out dr by d theta. It is A sin theta. So what is the formula for polar subtangent? It's R square into d theta by dr. What is R? A into 1 minus cos theta. If you square this one, you will get A square 1 minus cos theta whole square. So we want d theta by dr. For this, take the reciprocal of dr by d theta. You will have 1 by a sin theta. Okay. So 1a get cancelled. What is 1 minus cos theta? It's 2 sin square theta by 2. Whole square. Okay. So what is sin theta? It is 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. So now square this one. This will be 4 sin to the power of 4 theta by 2. Whole divided by 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. 1 sin get cancelled and 2 1s are 2 twos are. So we have 2a sin cube theta by 2 whole divided by cos theta by 2. Now split that sin cube theta as sin square theta by 2 into sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2. What is sin theta by cos theta? It's tan theta by 2. Therefore you will have 2a sin square theta by 2 into tan theta by 2. Again, prove that for the parabola 2a by r equal to 1 minus cos theta, the length of polar subtangent is 2a cosecant theta. Follow the same method, same procedure. So, this is one more problem. Show that for the curve r equal to a theta, the polar subtangent varies as the square of the radius vector and the polar subnormal is constant. Consider the given curve. Differentiate this with respect to theta. You will have dr by d theta equal to a which is nothing but polar subnormal which is a constant. Okay. So now find out polar subtangent. It's given by r square into d theta by dr. r square into, if you take the reciprocal of this, you will get d theta by dr. It's 1 by a. So polar subtangent is equal to r square into 1 by a. So that means this polar subtangent way directly proportional to r square. R this varies as square of the radius vector. This is the one more problem. Show that for the curve r equal to e, a into e to the power of theta cot alpha. Sub polar subtangent is r into tan alpha and subnormal is r into cot alpha. So try to solve this problem. 